Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading for April 27th through the 30th, Monday through Thursday, for my Sagittarius's. Hello, my Sagittarius. How are you? I hope just wonderful. Now, because, you know, you've, you've been pretty much, you've been pretty much going for it. You know, you, you've been, you're not letting a lot of things stand in your way. Anyway, using my two Bradley Valentine decks, my... Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message, and then I try to pull just one Angel Tarot card for my, you know, just just try to pull one. Anyway, I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Yeah, you, you, your energy has been really very forward-moving. I like that for you, my Sagittarius's. Anyway, Thank you all. We are getting through this together. Yep, we are. We are. Now, I am an intuitive channeler, and what that means is that I open myself up to my higher power, and whatever the message is for whoever's out there, it just comes through. Now, three cards are face down. All three of them, my sages, are reversed. Strong energy here. Here we go. First card for Monday through Thursday for my Sagittarius's first card. The Queen of Ariel. So, okay, the Queen of Ariel. Um, this is all about beauty. This is all about money. This is all about getting the things you want done. This is our um, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. The Queen's been coming up a lot this time around, but not necessarily for each of the energies. So this is your turn now, my, you know, my Sagittarius, is for the Queen to visit you. And what this is all about, you know, like I said, this is about beauty, something, someone you can touch. That's earth energy. Money a lot of times, money that's from a career or a job. But again, it's taking that money and it's investing. I'm feeling like really a strong investment in that money. So are you buying a new home and you're investing your money in a new home? Because I feel like this investment, this investment of money is in something solid. Are you taking classes and investing in yourself? Okay, that's an investment too. I don't feel like this is so much like the um, stock market, but it could be. It could be. I, I'm not going to go down that route with you because that's not my, you know, no, no, not good at that at all. But I feel like this is about you investing into you, investing into your future. Um, and I feel like this is you seeing, having a vision, seeing a dream, seeing something and beyond and you putting that time in. It could also, it doesn't have to be with money. It could be with your time. It could be with your effort. It could be you going into an old um, warehouse and re, you know, um, you know, just re um, energizing it or re, you know, just, just make, you know, taking out the garbage and just, you know, make repainting and putting, you know, remodeling it. But that's not even the word I'm looking for. But it's like you, you know, you just taking it and re, you know, just, taking it and making it from looking ick to wow, okay? It could be something like that too. But it's like this investment, time, possibly money, money being maybe invested in you, okay? Very strong energy here for you. So this is mature, practical, generous, and happy. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. Next card, remember, these are all reversed. And here we go, epiphany. So Epiphany, Archangel Energy, Archangel Raziel. Now, a couple of things with this. Now, there's a nine. So some things are coming to some ending. So And when things have to end, so something has to begin. There's some sort of like a karmic type of energy coming on here. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm feeling kind of there's a karmic energy. So some things have to end so that your new... So, so that you can be repaid for karma to go forward. But epiphany is also like that light bulb. It's like that, oh my gosh, I get it type of thing. It's also connecting with your higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine. So there's a lot, there's a lot of energy with this one for you also. So you're, this is some really strong, so this could be divine um, investment in you also, or you investing in that, for those karmic type of changes, okay? Because I am feeling strong karma for you coming, coming, and you getting ready for them, and, and hence the investment, okay? So, Archangel Raziel, joy through spiritual growth, be a light to others, answers that come through meditation. And your last card, again, 
the star. Okay, another archangel energy. And that this the other one was Raziel, and this is Jophiel. Okay, so this and this talks about you know you wish upon a star. This is about dreams that come true. So whatever this investment is that you're putting into yourself, it's something you've been wanting. And again, it could be you going to school. It could be you take you know you you buying you know a new a new something. Maybe you're flipping homes. Okay, maybe you're buying a home that's really cheap and you're flipping it, and then you're going to sell it for more. Um, it, but it's like this is something you've been wanting to do and it's like things are coming together for you now, okay? Something like that. Okay. This is a dream comes true. A dream comes true. Come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. So there's some major divine energy here for you. And again, um, you know, it's it's... Again, the investment piece, and again, it doesn't necessarily mean the stock market, okay? It doesn't necessarily mean that. In fact, I feel like it's more not that than it is that, okay? Let's go. It, it, it's, there's a lot of invest, investing in your future, investing in you, investing, you know, like something like you, you see a dream, you've wanted to flip houses, you wanted to um, possibly own your own home, you possibly wanted to go, you know, it's that type of investment. So the, the, the payout may not be immediate, but you want you are willing to put the energy in for the longer term. Okay, and again, two cards came out of the Angel Tarot. Both of these are also reversed. So you've got a real strong message here for you. My, Scor my Scorpios, watch out for Scorpios. Okay, my Sagittarius says, here we go. First card up is the Ten of Water. Okay, Water Energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer Energy. This is fluid emotional tens. Again, there's this transitional energy with this 10 here. There's an emotional change in you. You're kind of like letting, you're releasing things. You're letting things go so you can go forward. This has been a really big release for you, my Sagittarius's. A contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. And your last card, again reversed. Here we go. The three of fire. Fire energy is your energy, my Sages. It's also Aries and it's also Leo energy. It's passionate burning. It is determined energy. And this is all about celebrating. This is abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time. Like I said, this investment, this investment doesn't, I'm not think, feeling like it has this immediate result, but it's something you've been wanting to do. Um, make long-term plans, Okay. So a lot of really, really positive energy for you. I mean, that Queen of Ariel just, it's like that investment just keeps coming to me. And, and it's like, okay, you know, I'm going to put my time in. I'm going to put my energy in and I'm going to let, you know, and it could be going back to school. It could be, or starting school. You know, it could, it, you know, it, it's, there, it's that type of investment. It could be flipping a house. It could be buying your own home. Um, you know, it, it's investing and you're going to see, it's a longer term, um, you know, long, it's, it, the, you know, the payoff will be longer term. So you have to be patient with that. Okay. Okay. So my Sages, if you enjoy my readings, remember those buttons, especially the thumbs up. As always, my Sages, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.